Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Secret Files Sam Peters as we are hot on the trail of the professor. So we found out he came here and we found out that these creatures have been around for a while. Nothing left. And uh, that he would... But he did say there was a cure to the disease that the... Robin... Asim Bosom, yeah. Um, there's a cure to it, but you gotta go to the cave. And uh, he said he'd take the location of the grave, of the cave to the grave with him. So here we are at his grave. I think. Uh, you read that already. Infectious, Ghana jungle, a dreadful night. It was only once I'd arrived at the mission and met Sister Maria that I found out what those things were. Lurking in the trees, staring at me with the red eyes. Asimbosam, bloodthirsty beings that carry a weird. They passed on to all of the expedition members in the course of their attack. Of course, I missed the professor yet again. He was dragged off by the Asimbos their caves. Even though Sister Maria has warned me off in no uncertain terms, I have to go and find these caves and the professor if he's actually alive. So right now we are trying. I've transferred the ornamentation. I may at times have let myself get talked into things. I also may have been incentivized by the odd payment. But grave... Location like Father Samuel's grave. Strange. No epitaph. Oh, and nine curious symbols. Got that, which... Like it might be... Good. On the gravestone it says, J.H.M. Excuse me for not standing up. <laughs> Must have been a proper gentleman. Or a Groucho Marx fan. Nothing good comes from... Billy, 1907 to 2006. Only the good die young. Either he had a low opinion of himself, or a wicked sense of humor. <laughs> Sister Josephine, 1852 to 1904. Here rest her bones, and for the first time, alone. <laughs> Cheeky. Ow. Julius, 1767 to 1832. Here lie my mortal remains. I just wish they were yours. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't think... It may come back if we... I think getting the sip big thing on me. I won't get any more out of the sister. With any luck, everything I need to know about the Asimbosum caves will be in this diary. Not much to look at. Star Lily. Very pretty. One blossom for my hair, one for the ritual, I want to stamp under my feet as an expression of rebellion. I ought to concentrate on the plants I need, as listed in the diary. There, yeah, huh? Star Lily. Get the. I have to do this one at a time, I can't remember them. Hopefully all the plants can be. Looks like the Goethe plant. I'll pluck myself a blossom from it. Alright. I've transferred I've trans Uh so we got the perfect plant. Our lily. Roser. I ought to concentrate. A few stems of Allison also need to go in the pot. I ought to concentrate. I need a stock from it. 
one blossom from the hyacinth is enough. I ought to call... Oh, we have it all. They're all called. So I think we have. Dump everything. A star lily blossom. Bowl yet. A goethe plant blossom. A few stalks of allicin. A twig of rose herb. The blossom from a hyacinth. The Asimbosum's caves must be near here. Hopefully, the professor's doing all right. All the way back, and we gotta grab these ants. Let's decant this delicate brew. I can't get at them with. Can't get at them with a bear. Bowl of lemonade. A brush? Hmm. Not going to work like that. Oh, you know what? I think I. Brush. The lemonade's too thin to apply to a paintbrush. The lemonade's too th We don't have what we had. I know there are rations back in the ending strip. Get it, these? Rates of provisions. I'm not that. Holy sh! Even if I. French. I've cleaned it up. Uh, the only other place I can think of camp for rations and I'm not hungry right now.
Oh, I imagine already. Can we stick some batteries in there? They're like A sleeping bag. I wanna have trans no other points of it. Fast travel cube. I was hoping that would extend our school. something I missed. I'll pass. My delicate little fingers are not going in there just yet. It's like the hut was cleaned out by a tornado. Unfortunately, nothing usable within reach of the hook. Really? It's like the hut was cleaned out by a tornado. Oh, uh, so telling us about the locker wing. Out. Trespassing here is not perfect. Yeah, let's. Unfortunately,
Okay. I'll carefully cut out the different symbols. Okay. I can't exactly say I'm crazy about puzzles. Oh. They look better on the uh, on the icon here. Here I'm just what is everything? Amazing how this wood has lasted. Oh. Really this? Home economics is for housewives. Boiling the lemonades produced a thick, ah, sticky ah, syrup. Ah. There we go. Now we can put the paintbrush here up. That should work. Gotcha. The ant stuck to the brush. What? Almost too easy. I had to give it a go with chopsticks. Gotcha. One more. A respectable kill. Peters, the big small game hunter. All right. Now we able to just throw. We we'll able to throw those bench. Else it's waiting on right now but uh let's go back to Anything else? Kind of, but not really. Take this part as my. There we go. Now we got some. Yeah, I think. 
fight. I feel it. I think they're... This one matches up. This one matches. Oh, even though. I think the edges are. Are hit. Somehow she cut him out perfectly. There, that one. I think that one fit. Definitely. That's road. Curiously enough. Uh, did... Anyway, the... No. Alright, I don't think this is... There we go. All right, so now we're getting some. We don't have a place for him. That ended up uh, <laughs> quite well. Um, Somewhere.
That actually actually I think it works. A map. The route to the Asambosum's caves. There we go. Really, you're gonna Hey. They won't attack us as soon as the entrance to the caves, and no sign of the professor. I'd better go in and take a look after carrying out the written instructions for Father Samuel's protection ritual, of course. I have absolutely no inclination to go catching hideous jungle monster disease. This looks Pot's empty. Let's not get greedy. I've got the clay bowl already. Now we can put her. And in it goes. Sugar. Alcohol. Ants. So, that ought to be all the ingredients. I guess it is. Yep, so, uh... Oh. Let's see what happens. Ugh. The way that stinks, just the smoke could keep pretty much anything away from me. Smokes like my socks are on fire and smells like a wet fox. What the hell, so long as it confers improbably vast immunizing properties. Alright, let's see how our diary updated. Father Samuel's diary. Ghana, jungle. Since I detect that I have somewhere between little or no appetite for picking up some fatal disease, I have followed Father Samuel's instructions to the letter. This ought to protect me from being infected by the Asimbosa. Hoping that this is fair me to spend. There's no going back anymore. Going into the Asimbosa. Smokes like my socks. Oh, no. It, it's actually here. Weird. There are no birds. No animal calls. Even the bats seem to be frightened to make a rustle. Whoa, was that one of those things? A mask with eyes, mouth, and some kind of war paint. Probably have yeah. offerings later. Acid. Even more passages. Really does seem to be more extensive than I first thought. Mask. There's a mask hanging on the wall here as well. The obligatory mask. Are the Asambosum fans of masquerade balls? It's like some kind of graphic novel. The story begins with a man choosing children from a large group. They follow him into a cave, and the door closes after them. The children continue to live there while the man teaches them to fight. The man also gives them food, and so the children gradually grow into men. But what is that? The children seem to change on the way. Their arms become longer, and they get great big fangs like predatory animals. Pretty gruesome. Looks like 
one of those weird lamps they sell in the Scandinavian furnishing store around the corner back home. I feel like it's there for a reason. Best leave it alone for now. And we light. I don't think there's anything flammable in there. Are the awesome bosom fans of masquerade? This will just out for now. Out of order. Remember this. Not the slightest trace of Prof Hartman. Only more passages that lead deeper into the caves. Are the awesome bosom fan? Yes. The poor children. If I only knew how they were changed, they'd make the story of the century. Perhaps the professor knows the answer. If he's still alive. Oh. Looks different from the other rocks. What is it? A lump of resin. It's supposed to burn like tinder. Let's fuel this lamp and see what happens. And on. The resin's burning. The poor children. Perhaps the professor. The lamp's focusing the glow from the burning resin onto the cave wall. I should take a closer look. The poor children. Perhaps the professor. Poor chill, perhaps the Not at the well, Let's see if we can find more. Now she can. I feel like it's there. There's a mask hanging on the wall here as well. The poor children, perhaps the perfect. Was that an animal? Or a human? Or... The poor chill, perhaps the... What is with all these masks? Excellent. The awesome bosom fan. Same dial. Another trunk. Hey, it's well just take this. Let's fuel this lamp and see what happens. The poor children, perhaps the... Asks. Hey, another... With all these masks, interact with this. Uh, 
All right. Back to the later. Let's fuel this lamp and see what happens. Offering. A poor chill, perhaps. What is with all? Out of order. Last chunk we need. This map. This mask doesn't have a mouth. It must mean something. That'll be the step of. Oh, the pan out. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. This mechanism with the five stone wheels would appear to open the door in this room. Offering. Go and find the others. Okay. Now, ask. This is down two for two. Offering it, or sorry, I just made the I'm not quite sure what our criteria from for the order of things. Okay. Mask. Guy with claws, I guess.
we got three right now. Let's let's fuel this lamp and see what happens. Gotta find the light. Okay, so this is the man with the children. Um, ask I with underline. And a regular eye, mouth, brought us right back. Add it all. I mean, we got. I don't think that. Taking us. Yeah. Well, so far it looks like there's one in every so we could possibly bring that would be only five I think we got enough that we can try to There was another piece, but basically figured out. Hello. Professor! Those damn creatures. Creator. Professor found Ghana, Caves of the Awesome Bulls. Oh, this is one crazy labyrinth. It was actually a pretty tiring run around until I cracked the access code for the door to the professor's prison cave. Now all I have to do is drive off the Austin Bosom and get the injured man out of the caves. I have to drive the Austin Bosom away to be able to get to the professor. I wouldn't like to make myself any more obvious to the Austin Bosom. I don't think the ritual protects me from being eaten alive. Well, 
Well, we've done this once before, I think. Uh, Things are getting tight here. The battery's almost empty. Herr Professor! Professor Hartman, can you hear me? He's obviously in some considerable pain. I'm not going to be able to move him until those wounds are patched up and he's feeling better. First off, take some painkillers. Get these down, you prof. And that should keep the blood off my clothes and, broadly speaking, inside him. At least until I get him out of here. That will have to do until we get back to the mission. Don't worry, Professor. I'll get us out of here. Hey, Professor. You look considerably less shit than you did when I found you two days ago. Welcome back to the land of the living. Thank you for the uh, expressive compliment. The sisters have looked after us quite devotedly. And of course, my deepest thanks to you for your getting me out of there, Miss... Um... Peters. Sam Peters. Ah, and you are the journalist. Please forgive me for setting off without you. But the situation left me with no other choice. Forgiven and forgotten. If you give me the story as promised. Of course. So you have a few minutes for me then? Take a long look at me. Do I look like I've got anything else planned? I'm just not entirely sure that I'll be able to give you all of the answers. Let's find out. You want to know what the Asan Bosom are? Spill it, Prof. They are humans, I'm sure of that. Did you see the wall paintings in the caves? Yeah. The Ashanti were always a very secretive people with an extraordinary bond with nature. As with all native peoples, their living space also forms the basis for their existence. They naturally defend it with every means at their disposal. At some point, the Ashanti shaman must have realized that they would not be able to defend their lands indefinitely from outsiders. They therefore trained up some quite exceptional warriors. The ritual that's shown in the cave paintings. Correct. But those things don't appear to be human in any way. What happened? Well, it happens that there is a particular species of snail, which is incidentally the reason we were here at Lake Bosomtui in the first place. Whose genome has changed through eating the algae brought here by the meteorite. Yes, exactly. The algae may have been carrying a virus, which, over a relatively short period of time, triggers a rapid genetic mutation in a species. There are supporting cases. On the Indonesian island of Flores, they found the fossilized remains of a very small but adult human who was a genetic successor to Homo erectus. All evidence suggests this subspecies of dwarves evolved in only a few generations as a result of their isolated environment and in response to the narrow, low-ceilinged cave systems of the region. An unbelievable evolutionary step. Relative to conventional evolution, this process really did take place at the speed of light. As with the Asambosum? Possibly. Perhaps, as with the snail and the algae, the virus is the explanatory factor across all these examples. How far does this go? Perhaps the shaman knew that the algae possessed some form of mutational capability and raised his warriors on it. The terrifying result you've witnessed firsthand. Then these warriors are designed with the sole purpose of keeping outsiders like us away. That is my interpretation, yes. And what about this disease they carry? That, alas, is one of the questions I cannot currently answer. The Asen Bosom themselves appear to be immune to it. Perhaps it's a further defense mechanism. Do you think that they killed anyone? No, at least not directly. The evidence so far suggests they were designed to keep potential aggressors at bay, not to actively eliminate them. So what now? 
As snail research goes, Professor, this story is more sensational than most. That may well be the case. But? The shaman and the Ashanti have only been acting in the best interests of their people and in perceived self-defense. And that justifies their turning children into monsters? We don't have to approve morally. But does morality apply in the case of survival? Doesn't every nation do reprehensible things every day in the name of survival? Clearly, we are not the first Westerners to come here. And I doubt the intentions of all such visitors are as benign as our own. In this special case, I have to ask myself, even as a scientist, is knowing the answers more important than doing the right thing? Answers are what we're paid for. Then I hope never to see the day that we run out of questions. Do what you think is right. So, I have to make a decision. Should I go ahead and publish the story? Well, if we do, probably in sure. Uh, I mean, against unprepared, you no know, party members and whatnot, they uh, they do a good job. But can you imagine mercenary team dropped in with guns and night vision? I simply didn't have the heart. May a cloak of silence remain forever over the existence of the Asimbosum. Freedom really is so much more important than anything else. Talking of freedom, that's something I can also enjoy limitlessly, though sadly not on my little sailboat. When I got back to Hamburg without a single line of copy, my editor flipped and bounced me back onto the street. Whether or not he managed to get over the small heart attack that followed, I'm afraid I don't know. And frankly, I don't give a damn. It's time for me to drop by on Max in Berlin again. Perhaps he'll finally even introduce me to his beloved Nina. From the way he went on about her in Indonesia, I don't think they'll be apart for too long. And maybe he'll have a fabulously lucrative job for me and get that sailboat back on track. That's it? Ready? Wow, I mean, I know the review. Um, I will say, besides the length, I think this is easy. That's uh, the best game out of all the Secret Files games. Uh, one thing that struck me at the end when we were conversing with the professor and we were able to see him close up is just the amount of deep on his face. He, like the dirt, the stubble on his beard. Like really the only problem is they still quite haven't quite gotten their aliasing, aliasing problems down yet. Uh, so that was kind of a nice bad and they had some shadow problems with hair, but given how simple the graphics that level of detail astounded me. You could even um read uh the boxes, like there was a box on a cabinet uh that you could see in the room and he said something along the like premium bread or something like that. I forget exactly what it was, but um, this game has so much detail. Easily the best graphics. The voice acting was great. Um, translation problem with that letter, but ended up getting the gist of it by uh, playing through the story. But um, but yeah, this is, I really wish it was longer. And one thing I will say too is this is the first game in the whole series I didn't have to read a strategy guide of any sort of walkthrough. So every once in a while I'd get stumped on a puzzle in the other games I'd have to look at the walkthrough. And sometimes it was justified, sometimes it was just me being a mass and missing thing, like not clicking on something three times in a row. Um, I still think it's kind of stupid, but this one didn't need it at all, so... All the puzzles were something I could figure out, so I like that. Admittedly, none of them were too hard, but they could have maybe been a little harder, but 
Yeah. Well, I guess that brings this uh, let's play to an early end. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think the uh, game I'm gonna have replace this slot is um. Uh, there's a, another series by Animation Arts. It's only two games long. But uh, it looks kind of interesting, so I think I'll have one exit. Get the name off the top of my head, but I have, I have it. I have it installed. So uh, look forward to that. I guess that. Thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for next time. And